My name is Sam Richards with Septic Sewage Pumps. I'd like to do a comparison and show you the differences between a gassed AT05 series rotary vane compressor, a gassed DBM80 series linear compressor, and a builder's grade linear compressor. The demonstration I will be doing consists of flow, pressure, sound, and power consumption. The flow will be demonstrated by the aeration of the tank, measured by a flow gauge. The pressure is measured in PSI using a pressure gauge. The sound level is measured in dBs using a decibel meter. And power consumption is measured using an amp meter. I will begin the demonstrations with the gassed AT05 series rotary vane compressor. As you can see, the aggressive aeration of the tank, the flow meter reads 100 liters per minute. It reads 4 PSI with a max pressure of over 20, which can be caused by a clogged diffuser or obstructions in the line. These issues can be caused by a system that is not properly maintained. The amperage is 4.5 for this unit and the decibel level is 75. The next unit we are going to look at is the GAST DBM80 series linear compressor. Let's take a look at the flow of this linear. As you can see, the aeration is not as aggressive as the rotary vane. It is 60 liters per minute and 2.5 psi with a max of 7 psi, which can be caused by a clogged diffuser or other obstructions in the line. Linears have a more difficult time overcoming back pressure. Let's take a look at the amp draw, which is 1.5 and a decibel level of 71. The next unit we're going to talk about is the builder's grade linear. So let's take a look at the flow on this unit. As you can see, the aeration is not as aggressive as the rotary vane. It is 50 liters per minute and 2.5 psi. Max psi of 6.5, which can be caused by a clogged diffuser or other obstruction in the line. The amp draw on this unit is 1.2 and our decibel level is 62. Let's look at some more details of these compressors. First, let's look at the AT05. The AT series has a service life of 10 to 15 years making it your best value. The new model has a nickel plated rotor that resists corrosion, a fan for better cooling, and a fully enclosed housing to keep debris out. The AT will overcome back pressure up to 20 PSI, which will provide aeration even with clogged diffusers or line obstructions. This ability will also allow it to overcome head pressure after a power failure. A linear may not be able to do this, especially if the system is not well maintained. A rotary vane compressor will create more flow, 100 liters per minute. This additional air will promote more biotic activity in the sewage aeration system. All of these factor in to increase the service life of the AT series over conventional rotary vane compressors and especially linear compressors. You can almost always replace a linear with a rotary vane, but you cannot always replace a rotary vane with a linear. The AT series rotary vane compressors do have a higher initial cost and are slightly louder than the linear compressors, as well as having a larger footprint and using more electricity. Next, we will look at the GAST DBM80 series linear compressor. The DBM80 has a lower initial cost and is quieter than the AT series rotary vane. It also has a smaller footprint, which may give you more options at the prospective residence. Often, the lower initial and operating costs are more attractive to the homeowner as well. The DBM80 will have a shorter service life than a rotary vane, even in ideal conditions. It will not overcome more than 7 psi of head pressure and will not provide the same amount of airflow at 60 liters per minute as the AT series, which will not allow as much biotic activity. Finally, let's look at the builder's grade linear compressor. The builder's grade linear unit is typical of the compressors you will find originally installed in a system. They can and should be replaced by an AT series rotary vane or DBM80 linear compressor to ensure the homeowner is getting best value and the most out of their sewage aeration system. Please visit our website at www.septicsewagepumps.com or call us at 1-800-444-9367.